Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit today. We're up to 0.47 at this current point. We're trading above the 20 exponential moving average. So we broke down all the way to the 50 moving average, the bottom here at the bullish band, and then we rallied quite significantly above the 20 exponential and also above the middle here of the bullish band, which is the 20 simple uh, moving average. So at this point, it looks like we are ready to go higher. We can see the stochastic here is turning around. If you look at the, for example, the four hour chart, we can see that it is really bullish on the four hour chart. And usually that means that we will most likely see it on the daily chart um, at some point tomorrow. So target here will be roughly 1376. Um, breakdown from here towards the 20 exponential or the 50, that is basically another buying opportunity. So the 20 and the 40 and the 50 have been the areas where you could buy this currency pair. It has been bouncing off uh, these um, support, and, um, support levels for, well, a very long time now. We can go all the way back to, it's basically in mid-September, it has been in this um, bouncing off the 50, 40, and the 20 uh, moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, they are not looking at, uh, they're not very really bullish at this point, but if we get another green candlestick here, then everything here will turn around. We'll head towards the top here of the Bollinger Band, and that is roughly at 1375. So let's look at the US dollar yen, and as you can see, we continue this rally. So it is quite amazing that we saw this rally here in the um, Great British Pound US dollar, considering that the US dollar has been appreciating quite significantly today. It is up uh, roughly a half a percent. But we can see here in the US dollar yen, we have basically broken through all of these moving averages. And now we're heading up towards the 300 moving average. We are very overstretched, significantly uh, overbought at this point. We're 86, 83 here in the RSI. Look at the Bollinger Band, we're significantly outside. So a pullback from here, that should be expected. Uh, stochastic is basically flat at this point. The CCI is flat at this point. However, the RSI and the MACD are very bullish. So it may well be that we'll push it all the way up towards the 300 moving average, but that should be probably as far as this will go at this point. If the US starts depreciating, then this will fall like a rock. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken all the way down to the to the to the you know, purple line here, which is at 150 moving average, and that is when we're trading at 11.96 at this current stage. So the 150 is probably as far as this will go. The last time we came close to the 150 was over here, and then we rallied roughly a six, you know, 5.8, no, more than that, uh, roughly six. 0.09%. So, um, yes, if we bounce from here, expect a major rally. We are significantly overstretched. You can see here in the Bollinger Band, uh, we are way outside. We're also significantly over oversold in the RSI. If we can see that, uh, get the technical indicators to turn around, for example, the stochastic is becoming flat now here in the bottom, we could see it turn around and then head towards the upside. At this point, most likely we will rally up towards the 20 exponential that's in the middle of the bollinger band that's the trail rally of roughly 1.26 percent um, a break below the 150 moving average opens the door to the uh, 200 moving average so let's look at aussie dollar us dollar and we continue to basically just hang around here underneath the 40 50 20 exponential moving average we are also getting barely overstretched here. We're on the edge of being oversold. Uh, technical indicators are becoming flat, but they're still very bearish at this point. If the US dollar starts turning around, then we'll have a massive rally in this um, in this currency pair. If we break below these previous lows, that opens the door to the 100 moving average. 
that is roughly at the 0 0.7457. Uh, Otherwise, a break above the 50, 20 exponential, that opens the door to 0 0.80. And has a move roughly from here, give or take, 4 or 5% to the upside. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We are, well, just trading sideways here, just above the 50 moving average, underneath the 100 moving average. At this point, if the US dollar starts depreciating yet again, which it most likely will do because it is overbought and, and uh, fairly uh, overvalued at this point. Uh, so uh, we may see this um, pull back towards this upper trend line here. If we get rejected from there, that may be an indication that we are ready to go significantly higher. However, a break below this trend line here opens the door to this channel yet again. So we'll see basically what happens here. It is, um, I would look at the US dollar index basically to see where the US dollar, if it continues to appreciate, then this will go up. If it starts depreciating, it will technically go down. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.